Okay, my name is Regina Teixeira de Barros and I am a senior curator at Pinacoteca do Estado de São Paulo in Brazil. Tarsila do Amaral is one of the most important uh, modernist paintings, um, painters in Brazil. Tarsila was born in a very wealthy family in the countryside uh, and she had a very ambiguous uh, education as a child because she was taught to speak French she learned French literature, French poetry, everything was imported from France in her house. But outside she was a common uh, countryside girl. And when she went to France, already as a painter, uh, she, she got to know the um, modern painters in Paris and she, her painting began to change a lot and she began to look at cube, the Cubism especially, and especially Leger, who was a close friend of Tarsila's. So in this painting, for example, uh, it depicts São Paulo. It's a, a very precise spot in, the, in town. Uh, it's the Yangabaú Valley, which at that time was a very important place, like a postcard of the city, because the city theater was there. It had a beautiful garden. And also there were uh, some signs of uh, modernity such as the tram and the, um, the iron bridge. I think she chose this place because it was also where one could see the beginning of Sao Paulo's verticalization. And there's something very important about it because uh, Sao Paulo was, began to grow in the second half of the 19th century and the city the state began to grow because of the coffee and the exportation. Um, so the city began to grow also and began to get modernized little by little. The city of Sao Paulo was a, a very important place for the um, plantation farmers because they were very proud of the city because they had seen it grow, made it grow. And Tarsila, as a, a girl from a very wealthy family grown in, the pl in a plantation, in coffee plantation, she was very familiar to this site and to this uh, transformation, uh, this modernization of the city. The number is uh, an enigma. Uh, it's difficult to tell what it, if it means something other than um, numbers, I mean graphical signs in a painting, and it surely means uh, modernity has arrived because it's a billboard and a billboard in the middle of a um, modern metropolis. The painting uh, doesn't have anyone, she didn't depict people, only uh, signs of modernity such as the blue light pole and the red gas pump and also the iron bridge which I mentioned. Um, there is a palm tree which is a symbol of uh, tropicality a single one will do, we know, in a tropical uh, landscape. Um, and the buildings that begin to grow here. And this is the Angabaú Valley, which had a river, a small river. Now it's gone. So I think it's, uh, it's very touching to see uh, this painting in this exhibition, because it's not only a painting I'm very familiar with, but also because it's beautiful to see how it makes sense um, in, the concept, in the context of this exhibition uh, because it's, it makes sense not only in Brazilian specific art history but in landscape history in the Americas as a whole. I mean, one sees how there is really uh, a big link be between different um, countries in America.